My name is Shayla Lane and I want to talk to you about my project, The Conscientious Consumer. I was sitting in a human development and family services class when I learned that 60% of the world's chocolate is harvested by child slaves in Ghana and the Ivory Coast. In 2018, the number of child slaves who harvest this chocolate was known to be 2.1 million. I remember that while I was horrified to learn this, I wasn't surprised. This was just the most recent discovery of another item that I've bought regularly, not knowing that I was creating a demand for a product that got into my cart by way of human suffering. If this is new information to you, you might have questions like, how are we letting this happen? Or why isn't anyone doing anything about this? According to this article by the Washington Post, the top three chocolate companies in the United States failed to meet every criteria outlined in their plans to stop using child slaves throughout a 20-year period. On the rare occasion that a major manufacturer has their feet put to the fire, the cost of a lawsuit often isn't high enough to justify changing the inhumane practices that make for huge profits. This is just one example of innumerable products we see and buy all the time that are produced by way of suffering of people, animals, and the planet. What makes this example special is that this was what prompted me to build an app that can help to change this seemingly unsolvable problem. If major companies can't be held accountable, and they aren't going to choose to lose out on massive profits just because there are 2 million children who are shipped from their homes into slavery around the age of 10, what can we do? Shop ethically. This is why so many people make an effort to shop in a way that aligns with their values. It sounds simple when you say it, but if you've ever gone down the rabbit hole of research that you have to do to buy only products that are truly ethically produced, you know that one trip to Target could take hours of research. This isn't feasible for the vast majority of the population. The conscientious consumer isn't the first app to do this. I found these apps because I wanted help shopping ethically. It wasn't until I realized that none of them were effective at helping me to do so that I decided to build one myself. So I considered what was missing to begin designing a new app. The biggest problem with most of these apps was that they just didn't have that many companies in their database. Searching for major brands like Dove wouldn't return a result. The other two things that were missing from these apps were transparency and simple UX design. In order to really make ethical shopping easy, I wanted something that would allow a user to search companies as they walk through a store and see a five-star rating of the brands they are browsing on the shelf. And for those that have researched the endless sides to ethical manufacturing and aren't apt to trust a five-star rating without transparency, I wanted the option to see how that rating was calculated. Coming up with a metric for ethical manufacturing is as complicated of a process as finding a feasible way to fill a database with information on countless companies. After digging in for a couple of months, one answer surfaced that addressed all of the complexities that were so overwhelming. Certifications. Ethical certifications publish lists on what companies are certified by them and the specific criteria describing the requirements that must be met to attain certification through them. This solves the issue of transparency for the users who don't trust a star rating that doesn't explain itself and made it easy for me to use the quantity and quality of these certifications to develop an algorithm that would easily translate to a five-star rating. It also made it easy to build a form using Dart and Flutter that would allow for crowdsourcing via a formal framework that would drastically minimize the opportunity for user error. It did, however, introduce one additional complexity, which was that not all certifications are equal. PETA's cruelty-free certification requires nothing more than that a company fill out a form and sign a promissory note that they will not test on animals. Leaping Bunny does the same, but also does an initial audit and follow-up audits. In order to get to the truth of how ethical a company is, we need to know how legitimate the certifications they receive are. So I also came up with an algorithm to rate those certifications, which led to a more robust assessment of how ethical that company really is. At this point in development, I've chosen to focus on personal care products specifically, because they are products that are in all homes and that are typically immediately replenished when they run out. By making ethical shopping easy for everyone, we can show manufacturers what we value and what kind of world we want to live in. By refusing to buy chocolate from Nestle or Hershey's and only buying from fair trade certified companies like these, we can send a message that can't be ignored. If slave trade, sweatshops, animal cruelty, and environmental devastation stop generating profit, they would go out of business. If we can't count on the kindness of big manufacturers to solve this problem, we can take a stand and vote with our wallets. 
I've built the prototype for Conscientious Consumer, and my next steps are to bring on researchers to begin filling the database with valuable information, and then I will make it available to the public so that anyone can contribute to the database and make informed decisions at the store.